Hi, this is Greg with California German Shorter Point of Rescue, and I'm on my way to pick up a nine-year-old male German Shorter Pointer that the shelter picked up as a stray. And he's been there, he was available last week. We were attempting to get him out. It, it just wasn't working. We couldn't get everything to line. So jumped in the car today and we're gonna go get him. We don't know too much about him, so you're gonna see him for the first time other than the photos I've seen. You're gonna see him for the first time when I see him. Just got to the shelter. We're gonna go in and check out this nine-year-old GSP. So I just picked up this nine-year-old male German Shorter Pointer. Uh, we thought he was a stray, but he was actually an owner relinquishment, and which is really, really sad when you see people surrender their nine-year-old dogs. You think about where they've been all their life. I'm looking at him. He doesn't look like he's had a great life. Uh, he's got some spots on him where it looks like he's set on some rough spots, but we'll do an intake and we'll do a little more better examination when we get to him. He did test positive for Giardia, which we'll get that treated. That's pretty common practice for the dogs coming out of the shelters, uh, that and kennel cough. So we're not too concerned about that. And we'll get him checked out. He's already neutered. He's got his rabies. He's microchipped. This guy is pretty much ready to go. So if you're interested and you want to meet him, we strongly suggest you put an application in right now. That, that is going to get the process started. And I, I think this guy's going to go pretty fast. He looks pretty like he's got some personality and he's quite active. The animal control officer even said, be careful. He pulls harder than he looks he can. Nice boy. He let me touch him everywhere. He didn't have any issues. I think this might be the most well-behaved dog I've ever bathed. So I spent a little bit of time here with Doogie and he's really an amazing dog. We've, we've been out here. Uh, he's got some lumps and bumps. We'll have Dr. Kong check those out and see what he thinks about those. I'm not too concerned. They look like fatty tumors. He's over here. He hears this chirp sound. It's either the prairie dog or a bird up in the tree. And every time he hears it, he hears it sort of perk up. He wants to go ex explore. But what an amazing dog. This nine-year-old dog jumps in the back of the car, goes in the crate, rides perfectly. We're two hours away, two hour drive, not a peep, just sits there, lays down, sits for a little while, looks out the window, then he lays down and rests, doesn't whine, doesn't do anything, just is about as easy as it gets. Look at this, just sitting here. That's, uh, this is an easy dog. Who gives up a dog like this? What, what's, what, oh, I just, I don't know, I don't know. So we'll get Dr. Kong to check him out. He'll, he'll get a, he'll get a once over by Dr. Kong, have those bumps checked out, make sure there's nothing too, con too concerning, anything that uh, we need to take care of, we will. Uh, if it's cosmetic, we're gonna leave it. We're not gonna mess around. That's something that if he has, he's put under later on for some type of surgery or something, they can take those off, Dr. Kong would. That's the most economical and safest way for his health. So we'll get him to see Dr. Kong and we'll, we'll know more about him then. So we just got done at Dr. Kong's office and he signed off on Doogie. So we're all good? Yeah, we're all good. He thought that the protrusion or the rib cage here might have had some trauma, previous trauma. He said is possibly broken the way it is uh, protruding out, and he goes the way it's curved. It's some broken ribs. Is that broken ribs? Yeah, here. One is a straight, one is a crooked. He goes, that's an indicator that it looks like it had been previously broken. So there was a little bit of trauma at some point. Uh, other than that, he's like, Real happy. We had a Giardia test done because the shelter had said that they tested positive with a visual Giardia test. We're not sure what that is, but he is negative on Giardia. Single dot right here means he's negative. Cool. So no Giardia, yeah. And he is a big boy, just under 70 pounds. Very sweet guy. Very, very sweet. He's really something else. Uh, so far, he's gotten along well, ridden well in the car. We came down with 
three other dogs. We had a car full today at Dr. Kong's and he did great in the car with everybody. So he's he will check him out and do some socializing with him here in the next few days. But uh, just just an unbelievable, hard to believe somebody gave him up. It's just amazing. He seems to know like how to maneuver inside the house. He uses his nose to open doors. Uh, we've noticed that he's opened doors that go both ways, like to push them open, and then he actually uses it and pulls his nose and pulls the door open. But uh, nice, nice boy. Somebody's gonna get a real winner here. Uh, we're gonna make sure he lives his remaining years out, six, maybe seven years, maybe. Who knows? He's nine, he could live to 15, 16. If you're interested in uh, applying to adopt, please click and put the application in. There'll be something down in the description. If you can't adopt and you wanna help, please share, share this video. Like and share the videos and the post on the dogs that helps them find homes. Somebody's looking for those dogs. We're 100% certain of that. Somebody will be looking for him. We just have to find that person and you can help just by simply sharing the post and sharing the video. Lastly, if you'd like to support our efforts, please consider becoming a rescue hero. The rescue heroes help us financially pay for the medical and the food while the dogs are on our care. And we have a lot of dogs right now and it's it's quite expensive. We're running into quite a few vet bills. Uh, we just have a fundraiser. There'll be a link down below for that too. But the rescue heroes have helped us immensely. We'll be in a far worse shape than we are uh, if we didn't have them. We appreciate their help. Thank you, thank you very much. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna hear more about some of the dogs needing homes. Thank you.